Hey there folks, as some of you may remember, uh, last update cycle I decided to retire my Anger Point Do Tauros doubles team, and this is its replacement. It's a dual weather team relying on, um, I've got two Pokemon with Weather Ball, and then since it's Hail plus Sand, um, Mamoswine is a must-have considering it uh, doesn't take damage from either of those things. I consider having something like Reuniclus on the team with uh, Magic Guard, but you know there are only so many slots, and I really like the idea of having lots of speed on this team. So um, yeah, uh, Raikou and Roserade are there for Weather Ball, um, but also they do nice things of their own. Um, Rotom Heat Form is there for uh, Synergy. The um, the fire type uh, overheat is definitely needed on this team. And so my opponent is Kuzo from my Coke. Uh, he's got a manual rain team, and before you all start complaining about the fact that he has Thunders on his team, I just need to point out to you that Thunders is not banned from doubles. Uh, the Smog on tiers are only valid for singles, and they're the only ban list there that exists for doubles is VGC, in which uh, Thunders is not banned, and I wouldn't hold anyone to a VGC ban list, because then you can't use things like Victini or Jirachi, who definitely are not broken, um, and but are banned from VGC because they're event-only Pokemon. So anyway, uh, I start off with the, uh, setting up the hail. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Volt Switch against Masquerain, um, just because I figure, why not? Uh, and I'm going to want to uh, withdraw my Obama Snow. Um, you know, Barry is definitely a reference to our sitting president. And I go out into Augustine, um, my uh, Hippowdon, because I figure I can take pretty much anything from Lucario, I'm pretty sure, and I want to hit it with an Earthquake. Unfortunately, Volt Switch is going to uh, get absorbed by Lightning Rod. Uh, that would be um, Sea King's Lightning Rod. Great move on my opponent's part. And now I'm kind of screwed because uh, Raikou is Specs. I consider doing Life Orb, but on a team with dual uh, damaging weathers, I didn't think that it would be a good idea for uh, to have a Pokemon that takes even more residual damage. So I went for Specs instead. Air Balloon might also work. Uh, here I go ahead and switch out into Rotom so I can get off an Earthquake and not have any, residual, uh, any um, damage on my side. Uh, he switches out into Masquerade, gets off the Intimidate, and that is going to uh, lower August my Bishop of Hippo's attack. Yeah, he found on uh, Augustine, um, Saint Augustine, the Bishop of Hippo. Uh, probably none of you get that, but that's okay. Um, so Seeking goes for a Boosted Skull, and to add insult to injury, it's going to get the burn. So burned uh, Hippowdon. Uh, already with its attack dropped thanks to Intimidate, and uh, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake, but it ain't gonna do Jack. I mean, it's only gonna hit one Pokemon, and look at how little that does to Sea King. So, going to want to switch out, um, because I, you know, if you figure, well, at this point, my Hippowdon's basically worthless, why would I want to save it? The answer is because there are, could easily be situations where I would really want the Hail, I don't, sorry, the Sand back up, so, um, because Sand provides, uh, makes Weather Ball a Rock-type move, and considering that some of the Pokemon he has on his team, mainly Masquerain and uh, Tornadus, or not Tornadus, Thunderous, um, I'm going, there's a good chance that I'll be wanting um, that, that be, to be able to have that 4x or 2x effective move. So, um, Sea King's out, goes for the Scald against Rotom Heat Form. Um, Rotom's kind of useless at this point, and I'm basically having it out for Death Fodder. Um, he did an excellent prediction with the Protect, um, means that Tachikoma really wasn't able to do anything this battle. I'm thinking about replacing it with maybe Reuniclus. Does I don't know if Reuniclus gets Flamethrower or anything, but you know who does get Flamethrower? Um, Slowking, and, or Flamethrower Fire Blast. And Regenerator will mean that if I'm doing, if I'm keeping up with my Switch Heavy strategy, that'll be nice. So here I go ahead and send out Poopaloop. Loop. Uh, for those of you who remember my uh, PBR battles, I had a Mamoswine named Poopaloop on that team, and so here it's coming back, although this is a new uh, breed that now has um, Thick Fat, and it's a banded set. It's really, really awesome. I love it. Anyway, yeah, so he's got Rindo Berry on his uh, Sea King, uh, specifically for the Grass-type moves, but it's not really going to help it here because, I mean, uh, Roserade has great special attack, and... Uh, Leaf Storm is extremely powerful. So here I go for the Icicle Crash. Now, um, 
when my opponent posted his side of the battle, people were asking him what the hell was the deal with that switch into Lilligan, why weren't you expecting an Ice-type move? And what he said was he was actually expecting me to go for Earthquake, um, just thinking oh, maybe I could hit Lucario, that it would be a good move otherwise, and, you know, I actually, you know, there's a chance that I could have gone for it, so, um, it was not the best play, but not the worst play either, so, yeah. So now out is going to come, uh, Thunderous, and Masquerade's out, and I think, okay, well, here's the thing, I really, really want to save my Mamoswine, and I'm worried that he's going to have something that can one hit KO, plus he got off the Intimidate, so the band is, accept uh, is effectively negated, um, yeah, it is a band, it's not, so that means I can't swap out into any one of my other moves. So here, I, I, I do say it, never mind, huh? So I go for Sleep Powder against, uh, uh, against Thunderous, thinking he's either going to have to use Prankster, or he's going to... Actually, he would have got sped even without Prankster, so I don't know. I don't know what I did there. Um, but still glad I put Lucario to sleep. So, uh, now I go for the Icicle Crash, it's going to take out Masquerade. Oh yeah, I think, I figured that, um, it would be nice to put it to sleep, and, um... He, he was probably expecting my, uh, uh, my Okabong to switch out because it already got the special attack drop. So, uh, here I'm really turning around my, uh, turning this battle around. After a slow start, I've now taken out two of his Pokemon, and I'm in a pretty, oh, sorry, three of his Pokemon, so I'm in a pretty good situation. So now I'm going to make the Hail come back out because I'm going to want the Ice-type stab against, oh yeah, I don't know what I was talking about earlier. So, Rock, Ice, same difference in terms of, uh, hitting... Pokemon uh, super effectively, so really, it's kind of that's kind of interesting actually that there's not too much difference between the two stabs that you get with uh, not stabs. I don't mean stabs. Um, the two things you get with Weather Ball, uh, the two types you get for Weather Ball. Anyway, Lantern's gonna go for Scald against um, my uh, against my Obama Snow. Um, I'm calling it Obama Snow specifically because of its name. Um, anyway, what's going on here? Uh, Lucario is asleep, and that's great. Um, at some point I should probably switch out Elkabong. Um, yeah, I've got Black Sludge, I'm thinking he, the Trickers are not really going to be very common in doubles, uh, but they do, people usually do recommend that you go for, uh, Leftovers over, I think I have Leftovers on another Pokemon, which is why I don't have Leftovers on that Pokemon, because I want to be able to use the thing on Wi-Fi, and Item Clauses on Wi-Fi, and that's annoying. Anyway, Lucario wakes up, goes for Aura Sphere. Uh, it's going to do a metric ton of damage to my Obama Snow, but my Obama Snow has balanced defenses. It's really more, basically, both of my weather, uh, weather setter uppers, their role on this team is to survive. I don't care if whatever happens, I just want them to survive. I do have Wood Hammer, but, um, so you think, well, if the goal is to survive, why do you have a recoil move? And I think, well, you know, didn't give it too much thought. I could have, I definitely could have put on, a. uh, uh the seed bomb, but it has less power, and you know, I'm not investing any attack in Obama Snow, so. Uh, yeah. Barry's gonna die next, and at this point, the battle's pretty much over. He's down to his last two Pokemon, so it's not that big of a deal. I'll go for the Aura Sphere against Lucario. It should take him out, considering I am Specs, and, you know, it's not like he has a Focus Sash that was, that's intact or anything, so yeah. Lucario is down for the count. Um, now Thunderous is going to go for the Hidden Power, not sure what Hidden Power it is, probably Fire, uh, and, uh, oh, I guess it's regularly affected, so it's not Hidden Power Fire, I'm not sure what it is, maybe Ice, um, but yeah, that, that is going to take me out, it's really not that big of a deal. So, um, Thunderous is my opponent's last Pokemon, uh, and now I'm going to send out, uh, Poopa Loop for the Priority Ice Shard, and that should win me the game. So here we go, uh, Poopa Loop goes for the Ice Shard. The problem with this, I will say that the uh, weakness of this team is way too dependent on Mamoswine. Mamoswine is the cornerstone of this team, and if Mamoswine is ever taken out, I'm probably screwed. Oh, he survives. Wow, I actually was not expecting that. Um, so, but, uh, luckily I'm faster, go for the Aura Sphere, take out Thunderous, and win the game. So, great game, Kuzo from my coke. Don't feel too bad about being swept this badly. Um, you know, you were actually using mostly weaker Pokemon than I was. Uh, but yeah... I hope you folks enjoyed this battle, and I hope you folks enjoy uh, this team in the future. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.